Well, here we are for part two of our video. This is our third attempt at getting goose out at Point Mouillet. And uh, the guys out, instead of using the boats this time, they're in a little flooded area with cattails. They're actually out there in knee boots. And uh, they had their work cut out for them, but they got quite a flock of birds coming in. You can see them working them here, rounding them up. Once again, up to their knees in mud. It's amazing how they could just work the birds and keep them close together. You know, it's the only time you can do that, otherwise they just fly away. I think we uh, we wound up having about 168 geese that day that we banded total. There's one trying to fly, it couldn't. But uh, they had uh, 180 total, so I think there was like 12 recaptures on the day, something like that. Uh, I can't remember the exact mm -hmm. numbers, but, uh, you know, it was a good day. Get out, got a lot of guys out in the field, and get you ready for hunting season, definitely. Once again, getting the youngsters involved. There you are with hands on. What you think about that? That was pretty cool. You try to slip one in your back pocket too? Yeah. I think Jacob did too. And here's the young guys banding geese. And we had little guys out there. This guy here, I don't know, probably seven, eight, nine years old, somewhere in that age range. Do and the thing about it, you did get dirty. You can see there on your shirt yeah. how they were covered in mud. Especially in that last batch. Yeah, because they came right out of that uh, that thick oh, stuff there. How many geese do you think you handled that day? Seven, eight of them? Um, seven or ten. Okay. And here's Chuck. He's uh. Getting hands on, banning his first goose also. Any of you guys ever get the opportunity to take uh, part in something like this? It's definitely worth the time and effort that you put into it. Uh, it's an educational uh, activity that uh, you won't forget, definitely. It's something that everybody that's into goose hunting or into wildlife should try to partake in if they get the opportunity to. There's two of them. I think one of them got left over the pool. That or duck banding. It's going to be banded in a minute, so... This is a little goose. We're banding geese right now. And I had to finally get in on the fun. Actually, you took over the camera here. And I actually got my first attempt at holding a goose and uh, putting a band on one. I really wasn't sure what I was doing there. I had a little bit of trouble trying to get it tightened up the way he wanted. But, uh, you know, I was just going to let him do it. And he actually, he's like, no, he made sure that I actually got to do it and finish it, which I thought was really cool. And here's the big fella taking his first shot at Bane and Goose. What'd you think about that? Um, it was pretty cool. I'm just hoping that I find him someday. Someday so you can take the band back off, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, if you guys are interested in more outdoor videos or hunting, fishing, uh, or anything related to the outdoor, or even podcasting, we do a, a weekly show on the Internet called a podcast called Up North Journal. And you can find that at our website along with the videos and our blogs at upnorthjournal.com. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other exciting videos.